So, Zach, um, what's your memory or recollection of the first conversation you had with Ross Lyon when you, um, when you left Hawthorne uh, and, uh, and joined St Kilda? Um, he just wanted me to um, commit fully to being um, with him. Um, he didn't want me to be there if there was any kind of inkling that I just you know, wasn't sure. Or if he goes, I, I need you to be 100% committed, I need you to be 100% sure that you can do this because mm. we believe in you and mm. um, we just want you to give it a, a, a crack for the first six months and see how you go. You know? And then he said, I'm sure things will turn out. So but what about as a footballer? What did he expect from you? What did he want from um, you? I, there wasn't too much expectation. I said, but he, he instilled a fair bit of belief in me that I still had something to offer. Mm. Um, but you know, it, I, I I can't thank him enough for for what happened. You know, like, I I'd changed from being you know totally against playing AFL to yeah. in, within a couple of weeks going, all right, I'm going to give it another go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ten and full. Just circle. for one, in, in you know in. You know, in, in hindsight, just looking at it, it's just because of him. You know, yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have, you know, wouldn't have been here. So, yeah. um, now, 09 was a great year for the Saints, really. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, one and twenty in a row. And the 2009 finals series, you shared St Kilda's honour as player of the finals with uh, Lenny Hayes, um, uh, which is a fair tribute. But even before that grand final, some of the Saints players, uh, some of the, not players, but some of the Saints fans and critics were calling for the recall of Maxi Maxie Hudson That's right. To the, come the week the team. before, you, the week before they were played saying the whole he, season. Yeah, he, he should be in for the grand final. He's a better matchup, and I'd played nearly every game. I'd missed one because of suspension. Yeah. And they were still. So that's what I mean. There's always been my critics, and there's always been people that, you know, don't believe in what I can do, and so. Mm. I don't really read too much into media things and I don't read too much of what people say. And uh, Take you back to the 2009 Grand Final, mm -hmm. um, Geelong versus St Kilda, it's the 25 minute mark, Steve Johnson's across half back and he's passed the ball to Ablett in the middle, you yep. leave Cameron Mooney, it's, it's, there's nothing in the game at that stage, it's either all square or point one way. Uh, you leave Mooney, you spoil the contest, yeah. but as luck would have it, the ball bounces up, hits Scarlett's boot, goes forward, ab to ab back to Ablett, kicks a goal. What's your, have you thought about that much? Do you I, think about it? I would have thought it, about it probably a hundred times yeah. since that day. Mm. Um, just a metre either way, you know, yeah. um, and <coughs> things could be totally different, you know. Mm. Um, if the ball had gone further than I, yeah. that, as I wanted it to, our blokes were out goal side and we would have kicked the goal. Yeah. But, so it happened that it hits his foot and goes the other way and yeah, you know, the rest is history. Down, Marco, you know? Chapman, goal. Um, it is a it was a very important moment um, mm. in my life that, you know, it, it could have gone either way. But you had the courage to leave your man yeah. and make a contest. If you hadn't done that, yeah. Ablett would have marked it. That's right, yeah. So I think um, I pride <coughs> I pride myself as being quite a selfless player. Mm. You know, I don't I don't worry too much about what happens if I fail in doing that? If mm. I look like a deal, or mm. you know, if it does get that easy one over the top, you know, I, I'm I'm quite comfortable in making a hard decision, like in a split second decision, to mm. uh, to do do something for the team and hopefully benefit them. There's been times in in games now where I've been in that exact situation. Um, this year, even when I did it, when on Matty Stokes, like the third man in. You know, when Matty Stokes was coming out of it in round one, yeah. <coughs> I've left my man, yeah. and I've made <coughs> an impact. Like that's the type. That, that yeah. time in the game where you have to mm. make a split that decision. That was on the wing at Subiaco. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you have to make that split second decision, you know, mm. and sometimes it might not work and you look like a deal, but sometimes it does work, and as in that case it did. Yeah. Um, and, you know, people respect you for that. So. Have you enjoyed your time in Perth so far, and, uh, and what are your general reflections on it? Oh, it's been great. Yeah. I've loved every second of it so far. Mm. Um, great bunch of guys, great coaching, pa like coaching panel. Mm. Um, my girlfriend moved over, obviously, with me. Yeah. Um, and we're we're very happy over mm. here. Um, the lifestyle is great. What does Ly What does Ross Lyon bring as a coach? You know, without going into detail, but how, why is he such a good coach? Um, he's quite an intelligent guy. Mm. Um, he he really knows what wins games of football. He knows how to. Um, he's quite a good tactician. He knows what to do against certain teams and what not to do against other teams. But yeah, the, the groups accept him and they, they can see that he, he's very um, going to be a very successful coach, mm. you know, and, um, and he's going to lead, lead us well, I think. In five or six years, when you, uh, you, you've either given up the game or the game has given up you, um, how do you think or how do you want to reflect back on what you've 
given to football um, and and how do you want it remembered? How do you want to be remembered? I, I don't think I have the most ability out of anyone that's on the field. Mm. Um, but I believe in myself. You know, I, I'm, I, I give it 100% every time I go out there. Um, as you said, I probably don't look like that, but I actually am having yeah. a crack. Um, and I, I want to leave footy happy knowing that um, I've tried to change my perception from what I started because I wasn't happy with how it was mm. at Hawthorne. Yeah. Um, and I want to leave the game with a different perception. I want to change the game, being someone that people can look at and say he was a good player. Yeah. You know, not, not a great player, not an excellent player, but no. just he was solid or you know, something like that. Yeah. Um, and just changing that perception would be something I'd be keen on doing. Yeah, okay.